Hello and welcome back everyone. Sorry, I took um, a bit of a break as I wasn't very well. And I just wanted to say thank you very much for all your support, watching the videos, um, showing the uh, support in the likes and comments. Also, I want to say a big thank you to Button Hall community for helping me uh, gain this confidence uh, to create new content and to create videos on development. Um, so today we are going to rewrite uh, the woodcut and script what I was doing last time in the last couple of videos uh, to make it more efficient. Uh, we're going to add a banking system and an anti-ban um, system. So what the anti-ban system would do is it'll stop for like a couple of seconds and it won't spam the, um, the tree either. So it's harder to detect. Then when we walk in as well, it'll stop once it reaches its location, it'll stop for a few seconds, but it'll go straight into the bank. Stop for a few seconds, but it'll keep doing that. So it's it do it between a random amount of seconds. So it looks a bit more realism. Uh, so it's a lot harder for Jagex to detect it with their macro systems and bot detections. So uh, we're going to dive straight in. So if you remember in the last video, how we used um, the uh, the X Valve GitHub map, um, this will still be linked in the description, don't worry, um, if you can't remember. So what we're going to do is just create a little area. That's me. There we go. Just around the bank. So we can get the bank area now. So we're only going to copy up to new area because it'll show you something pretty cool. So instead of writing a new private area, so what we're going to do is just literally do um, bank area equals this. Bam. And you've got your bank area already. So what we're going to do is going to remove all this then we're going to create a few voids so i'm going to do private void chop three so that's going to chop a tree section then we're going to do private void um bank deposit i guess well then the last one is going to be private void check item So all these are going to have uh, quite a bit of logic in. So to make it a lot easier for us to understand, we just put them into different methods so it's not all in the loop. So, okay. So what we're going to start by doing is just going to create the sections here. So we're going to do if get inventory dot contains bronze apps. Then we're going to do check item. Else if get inventory that is full, then we're going to um, chop, uh, chop the tree, sorry. So then we're going to do else uh, bank deposit. So what this is doing is checking if the inventory doesn't contain the bronze axe, so it's going to check the item. But if it uh, does contain the axe and the inventory isn't full, then it's got to chop the tree. Then if the inventory is full, it's going to bank deposit. So what we are going to do next is we're just going to change it to three as well. I've got a 602, but it's actually 603. Um, so we're going to add the logic inside these now. So we've done all this before. Um, we're just rewriting it to make it a lot neater. So yeah. So I'm going to use RS2 object as um, tree equals get objects uh, closest tree. So 
we're going to use it as the closest tree within the area um, which is pretty cool so we're going to do now if my player is not animating and tree is visible yeah, I've got a new condition sleep I'm going to do between 1000 and 1500 there we're going to go to condition there we're going to log using anti ban so this is the anti ban system which literally is that simple for the trees um, there now we're going to get into more so if my player is it animating and the tree is not equal to null so that's checking if it's actually found a tree but we're going to tree interact with this so tree interact chop down make sure these actions do uh, our correct spellings otherwise it won't work so the new conditional sleep Then we're going to do between 5,000 and 2,000. And then we're going to do a condition of my player that is connecting. Then we're going to dot sleep that. So we get in there quite quickly. Um, as it's not much to write out in some sense this is small parts of coding so if fitness is a lot then you should see what a lot is when you start getting to it more into the future um as you know what we are living uh so we're just checking if the tree is equal to null or the um uh, we're not inside the area there we're going to do get camera so yeah, so it's going to spin the camera onto the um, entity, which is the tree, and it's going to log a message, searching for tree. So if get walking dot web walk. Let me see area. There we go. A new condition. Sleep. Five thousand. Two thousand. There the condition of tree is visible. There we go. Sleep as well. So, this is actually a really simple and more efficient way to actually do. Uh, chopping the trees down so as that's explaining it for the process it's um, really efficient it's, what it's doing here is gonna check if uh, when the tree is visible then it will return the building state of that so what we are going to do next is the bank deposit. So the bank deposit is really easy as well. It's not complicated, but this is something new to you, and I've been doing it for about three weeks now. As uh, so I've been picking up really quick as prior to my Java knowledge. So what we're going to do is start off by checking if the place inside of the uh, if it's not inside the area. So we're going to do if bank area that contains my position then if get yeah, web for uh, yeah bank area yeah we're gonna do condition new conditional sleep sorry between five thousand and two hundred and fifty 
so I'm going to do condition here. Uh, I'm leave that as it is. Sleep. Bam. What we're going to check for now. Else if. So this is where the bank comes in. The bank. It's not open. Bam. We want to open the bank. So bank not open. Bam. Else. And spell. Bang. Deposit. Oh, no. Bank dot deposit all except bronze ounce. Uh, this is um, coming up right because it needs um, an exception, which is interrupted, interrupted exception. Uh, which allows to catch the errors um, through Osbot itself. So that's pretty much the bank deposit done. So all it's doing is checking if it's in the area, go walk into the area. Then if it's in the area, then it's going to check if the bank is open. If it's not open, but if it's not open, it'll open it. And else it'll just bank all it, except the bronze axe. It's that simple. So the next method we are going to be working on is checking item. So this one is literally as simple as possible again. Um, so yeah, we're going to just jump straight into this. So if get inventory that contains runs axe then if bank area that contains my position then if get web walk I keep saying that get walking dot web walk then what we want to do is between five thousand to fifty again. Oh sorry, that's the ash. <laughs> so we're going to do the bank area. Uh, we want to do a new condition to sleep. So I'm well ahead of myself. There uh, we want to do between 5,000 and 250. There uh, we're going to do condition. Return that as false. Then we're just going to sleep that out. Um, bam. What we're going to check now is basically the same as the bank. So else if bank dot is open, bank dot close, uh, bank dot open, sorry. Else bank dot deposit all. There we're going to do bank dot. Um, runs x one bam bang up close it's literally that simple and don't forget to add the inception for this one as well it's literally that simple to create it um so what i'm going to do now is just build this and show you if it does work so i'll see you in a second but i have just logged in right now um, it's going to use the antiban, as you can see in the logs. So then I can chop the tree down, use the antiban again, chop the other tree down. It's going to do, keep doing that. Um, so what I'm going to do is pause this quickly and just go to the bank. Um, just up to this bank here. And I'm going to show you that everything does work. Big fine by depositing this in and we're going to just walk out around the corner so you know it's going to the location so I'm going to start it again so as resumed 
So as you can see, it's going straight to the bank. Then it will say we've reached the final destination. Right, it's going to wait a few seconds, open the bank up. It will grab the axe. Then it will start woodcutting. So I will jump straight back into when the full inventory uh, is full of logs. Then I will show you that works as well. But now that's out of the area, press play and it's going straight back to the bank because it knows that we're, the inventory is full and that we need to pass it all the locks. That's pretty good. So that's how you create um, a really advanced uh, system and making it really simplified and where you can easily adjust it and expand your code within the knowledge so i hope you've learned something new from this video and i hope you can take this on to the next video that's with you now and create even better systems so if you have any questions feel free to put them in the comments or message me on discord there um, uh, the next videos will be planning out very shortly i will make an announcement for them if you have any suggestions what we should do next please feel free to put them in the ideas also um i just wanted to say uh, another thank you for your support uh, reaching over 500 views on one of my videos and nearly reaching 30 subscribers which is absolutely amazing starting from zero and uh, going all the way up to 30 within a couple of weeks so i'm really appreciated for that so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you uh, for watching again and don't forget keep keep learning keep trying keep practicing if you get stuck just message me I'm going to bite your head off. So, yeah, thank you, and I will see you in the next videos. Adios. <laughs>